Good morning, good morning. This is pretty dry. I painted this, this early, early, early to let it dry. Would you believe that I have some of these paints still? She doesn't make them in these pots anymore. This is from 2017. It's still going. <laughs> I have a couple of them left. Just bits of them. And that bubblegum pink. Oh, it's called Rose Quartz. It's so pretty. I think I um, my prompt for today is an injury. Like, what if you were digging and you fell in your spot that you were digging and broke an ankle? That would cause an obstacle for you not to be able to be treasure hunting or whatever for an archaeologist. And some of the new people probably don't know. I have a major broken ankle. I did. Two, two years ago. Where I now have six screws and two plates in my left ankle. I fell on it here at home. And so I'm going to do some abstract stuff that replicates what my inside of my foot looks like. It's not going to be gross. Um, let's see. And I haven't done this in a very long time. Done Neo Color 2's. <laughs> that sticker was from when we had to go in and back and forth to the orthopedic doctor. And that was your sticker that you had been tested for COVID. Or a fever, I guess it was. You had to be fever free. Tonight is the Super Bowl. Okay, so. Let's see. What color is this? Terra raw umber. All right, that'll work. I think this is going to be very abstract, but it will not look like a bone and ankle and screws, but represent. Where's a dog walking around in here? What are you doing in here, little man? Gunner, come here. And he's gone. <laughs> so we're just going to wing it. My poor fingernail. I accidentally put a top, a clear top coat over some paint. It's there for a while. So there's the ankle, right? Come here, lovey. Come here. Come here. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Are you looking for something to steal? Are you looking for something to steal? You got a bath yesterday. You look so much better. Yeah. Yeah. What? Tell the people hello. Tell the people hello. Say hello, people. Say hello, people. <laughs> you gonna help me? You can sit here. I'm drawing screws and plates. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing besides getting into trouble? Are you getting into trouble? Is trouble your middle name? Pretty much. Okay, that's only five. Um, this isn't the exact location, but... And then... Is that daddy moving around? Huh? There's a plate. There's actually a plate right in front also. So let's see what we can do with that. That's my injury. What is your injury? You don't have any, any injuries, do you? You get well taken care of. You're well taken care of. Oh. Huh? oh, you smell so much better. You smell so much better. You gonna draw? Huh? You gonna draw? Why don't you go get daddy? <laughs> so like, I'm not comfortable being in here when my daddy's here. I don't need you for comfort. You don't need me for comfort? Huh? Do you not need me for... You got goobers in your eyes. Can you let me get them out? No. No. Huh? You want to go get daddy? Go get daddy. Okay? Go get daddy. 
See, you go from calm to combat real quick, don't you? Right now you're calm. Yeah. When you're calm, you're very sweet. But when you're not, woo, you are not, are you? Okay, go play with daddy. Go, 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 go. And he's off. Sorry about that interlude. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, there's pink here. And I think I forgot to put my quilt pictures. But, see that looks even prettier now with a little bit of pink. Um, I think I'm gonna make some little note cards for the ladies at the quilt retreat uh, next month. Because we have, they they usually bring gifts for everybody, but there's like 20 people, so I might just make little tiny note cards <laughs> and do some weird stuff on it. I could cut out a big piece of paper. That's what I could do. I could make a big piece of paper and then just chop it down and put little tiny plate note cards in it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, back to... Ugh. I got sidetracked there. All right. What else could we do here? I don't know. Um, let's see here. I haven't been in here in a long time. Apple Tower. Cats. Snails. Teacups. A possum is what I tripped over, not a skunk, but a possum. And that was. Oh, I heard the beaver this morning. Flapping his tail on the water. Oh, these are pretty. Um, we have a beaver in our co. We've had beaver problems over the years. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm floundering. Can you tell? Oh, I need to put this in my Hobonichi for when I fly next month and in May. All right. Uh, we, yes, we have a beaver that lives off and on. Well, there's many beavers on this lake. Oh, there's a bunch of stamps. I don't know what I'm going to do. This might end up just crazy. Aha! Here are some like specimen things from Tim Holtz, I think, little ones and tags and things like, um, like specimen tags. We might make a cluster today. We could use that one. Here's a tiny postage, something or other. Here's what says specimen. One that says field label. Mushrooms. Here's another little ID number. Ooh, private collection. Okay, let's use that. This is a mess. Oh, here's a good pink. Since we have lots of pink going on. Ah, I gotta put this away later. This is a bunch of clear stickers. Oh, here's a pretty bottle. We might use that. We already know we have a bottle. Pretty 
frame or something. This is all vintage. You can be gorgeous at 30, charming at 40, and irresistible for the rest of your life. Coco Chanel. I like that. I think I'm going to put that in my Obanichi. Mm, love. That needs to go on Valentine's Day. Happy early Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh, a sewing machine. That needs to go on my Hobonichi. Basically, oh my goodness. I used to fill these out all the time. <laughs> when you, in the old days when you would, as a clerk at an office, fill out phone messages. That's funny. That's a blast from the past. Oh, and here's some stamps. Okay, here's a pink one. <gasps> Bulgaria. Do you realize, my husband reminded me that the war in Ukraine has almost been a year now. That's just wild. Those poor people. And oh my gosh, Turkey and Syria. 28,000 people so far dead. That doesn't even account for all the misplaced people. Tragic documented. All right, that's enough of those. What else is in here? Some pretty pins. I might put that in my Hobonichi. Coffee. Oh, what's this? Like a little calendar or something or other. Okay. Oh, here's a map. No, it's not a map. Oh, but there's a clear label of some kind. Okay. Oh, and a why is this in here? Something the dog has chewed on. This is like a, what do you call these? A zine from Halloween. A zine from Halloween. But the dog has chewed on it. Okay. Boy, am I really distracted today. Now, I don't want that one either. Um, let me see if we can come up with some stuff out of here, out of this big box. Creepy dolls. Candy wrappers. There's another cool border. I like this gray with a pink, maybe. Could this be the hospital? even though it's not downtown somewhere where there's water, like Chicago maybe. Injury. I could put a, um, there's a gray stamp. I could put a, um, my brain today is fried. Another piece of good gray. Uh, I can't even think. I, what is wrong with me? My aura's off again. Oh dear. Okay, I love this but it's going to cover everything up so maybe not but i'd love this something out of a magazine i'm going to tear part of this and i love these like coffee table things those look like like your ankle sockets and all that, right?
my aura might be off because I have not slept. I did not sleep good last night. I've been up since like 2.30 this morning. Which means after I finish here and after I upload and do a little bit of sewing, I'm trying to clean out my scraps too, fabric scraps, I'm going to have to take a nap and set my alarm for the football game. All right, we're going to move these joints because they're not exactly in the right place. Maybe I do this. Put my screws back in again. Hmm. Okay, pretend like that's none of that's there. Although I like the idea of it there, but it just might not be visible when it's all said and done. Maybe we evolve into like just joint sockets. So this has, but I really don't want it visible as Australia. <clears throat> Although you can still see it, but. Maybe. Something like that. <clears throat> and Ooh. is happening here. Not much. we have like a joint there, a joint here, a joint here, and these two are slightly joined. I kind of like that. And this graduated then to the small envelope. I got rid of a piece of paper out of my thing. might go in the medium and uh just gonna put it in the smalls two pieces two pieces count them people oh but i love that too that might get used these go back in the medium box all right let's glue some of this down Maybe we'll do some shading or something with the Neo Color 2s on top of some of this. Otherwise, 
this practice today was completely intuitive. <laughs> but see, that's, I just like that. I just like that. I like going in and challenging myself, maybe. Is that, is that what I'm doing? Am I just challenging myself every day? Try to come up with something like this. up with something like this today okay this needed to go down first because I'm covering up the word Australia on this stamp they shot down another weather well they haven't called it a weather balloon this time or a spy balloon they're calling it a large object <laughs> over Alaska So that joint is there. These two are joined in a different way, but joined. Oh dear, this needs to go down too. Amy Tangerine made um, a video about her washi tape hearts where she just put a bunch of red washi tape strips down and pink, and a little bit of orange, and then cut them into shapes of hearts. I remember she said it was a blast from the past video. I remember when she made that video originally. I guess that's what you call a longtime adoring fan. I think she's gotten away from American crafts, it seems like. So she doesn't come out with any more. Now this is going to be this join paper product paper pads but she collaborates with so many different people and companies and stuff okay we've got our foundation down this is crooked but i think my foot is crooked now so that's okay um are these stickers i think so yes okay The clear ones are stickers. The other ones are not. Oh, this is a pink stamp. Which? I don't want it to be completely obvious. Yeah, Amy Tangerine. And what was that other lady's name? Tracy Bautista. She was one of the first people I found that was just going wild with products. And she's in California. Um, I don't, she, she used to have, she was the maker of one of the, or her name was on it, original, like, Mod Podge things. Does anybody remember Tracy Bautista? She did a lot of this kind of stuff and then painting on top of it and just creating mixed media treasures and abstract stuff. You know what? I'm kind of liking this <laughs> and it's injury because now that's a little bit too brown, that one, but I'm, I need to see if I can flatten this out because it's starting to wiggle and warp. A little bit. But let's take our pink crayon and see if we can't color that and make it pinker. And look at there. We did. Is that on screen? Am I in shot at all? Hopefully. Okay, I've got a couple more little things here. Different kind of cluster, but I don't hate it. Okay, this one is lavender, which we might see if we can't color. It actually looks blue now with all that pink. 
Um, okay. I might not use these, but I might put them someplace like in the wordings. So I'm going to leave these out. Now, a gray or black, very lightly. Do some shading. And these are new color too, so they're water soluble. But I don't think I'm going to solubilize them. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave them like they are. I think I just made up a new word. And there's enough pink showing through. That's my pink skin. It represents my pink skin. Coffee cup, you got to move. I really like that. It's so abstract that it's kind of cool. And out there, magazine pictures, my own printables, Tim Holtz, Neo Color 2's, Diane Reevely. And Architectural Digest. <laughs> the pictures are out of Architectural Digest. I kind of like that. So this is supposed to be injury. All right, we're going to... I really like that. Oh, here's another little tiny piece. Hmm. Oh, dear. I got a ton of glue. I really like that. And you can't tell it's a joint anymore, which is fine. A, an injury to a joint. I don't really like that. All right. Where are those other little guys? Let's see. If I can add some of this. All right. Where's the bottle? Somewhere. There. All right, let's let's see if we can get this separated here. These are really thin like um vellum. Flakes or whatever. Oh wow, washi flakes. Look at that. That looks pretty. Okay. All right. Um that's turquoise. None of this. This could go in it, maybe. This could go. I need a blue stamp. I bought these off of Etsy somewhere years ago. A big bunch of them. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a tarot card. Not a stamp stamp. I think. I want a sky blue one. They're all stuck together. Urgh. That's green. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get out something from here that's blue. We could add this one. And they're a little see-through, so they they um, st 
stuff shows through. All right. There's the clue. You want me to read the first line to you? 100, which came from this 100 right here. Miles. M blank L-E-S. The, the eye washed off in the ocean. 100 miles. That's the first line. <laughs> well, you know what? Are we just touching stuff up to be touching stuff up? I usually don't do this. But I think I might add a little bit of neo color twos to here. Maybe even get these a little wet. And circle the 100. It almost disappears, which is okay. Huh. Just kind of zinning out here. X marks the spot 100 miles there's another clue all right I think I've zinned out enough here that was actually very fun because I did not expect any of that I did not know what was going to happen Whew, fun all right what is happening next speaking of what's happening all right Um, we have war. Not pencils. We have, what is this? Um, injury. So injury, illness, work stoppage, war, curse. They're all different. Tide changes. Bugs, weather. Tomorrow is the last one in section two, which is obstacles. And then we get into what did she find? That you can't see yet. But tomorrow, the prompt is Dr. Nope. Not Dr. No, Dr. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do there. It's a enemy archaeologist, a, a competing archaeologist, Dr. Nope. So I have a few um, things under what, what was found. I have Museum Life and then What's Next for Sarah Sloth. And I think, let's see, today is the 13th. One, so 14, so I need... 15 through 28 or 29, 28, 15 through 28 is 13, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, that works out pretty good, we'll have a final flip through or maybe a day for another topic if I think of one, okay, cool, all right, that's our plan for the rest of February. Don't know what we're doing in March. Don't have a clue. <laughs> Don't want to know yet. Too early. Too early. Okay. I think I procrastinate. Oh, gosh. That's so pretty. I love this. It's wild, but it's pretty. And that's pretty in a different kind of way. I like that one too. I like that one. This was high and low tide changes. The robbers. A curse. A bug. Beetles or something. Oh, the leopard beetles are at the beach. Don't let them bite you. If you do, you will hop on one. Your right foot. I spelled hop wrong. I 
put hope. <laughs> if bitten, you will hop on your right foot uncontrollably. That's because your left foot could be injured like this. What I did. Speaking from experience, here's weather. I don't like this now. I like it, but it doesn't fit in here because everything is so wild. That's okay. This is the section chapter title page, which I need to do something with. These were her um, notes in her journal, how she takes her notes. That's her tent on the beach. Then we found a piece of paper that looked like South Carolina. The map that she found with the X marks the spot at Myrtle Beach and a clue inside the bottle, but most of it was washed off. There's the bottle. Oh, this is her tools. Okay. I was trying to, I wrote tools in the middle of the night last night. And I'm like, but where does it go? I was trying to look back at my old pictures on my phone. It goes on the back of this. Okay. Famous archaeologists, women ahead of their times, Big Sur, and Mermaid. There's our scales. I'm loving this. Loving this. Loving this. Having the time of my life. With all of you watching, thank you so much for watching. And comment if you can. It's fun to get your comments. Um, let's see what y'all, how crazy y'all think I am. Don't tell me really how you feel. Unless it's nice. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Go. I think I want Kansas City to win because they need to beat Philadelphia. Because Philadelphia was the team playing when my team fell apart. The 49ers. I was so sad. When we got home from the beach this past time last week. Did we get home last week? Yeah, last week. Saturday. Um, our neighbor, we went and got our mail from our neighbor. And he goes, are you in the fetal position? I'm like, no. He goes, I said, what? You know, after your team lost. I'm like, oh, yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am in the fetal position. It was funny. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. I'm, I'm just babbling for no reason. Bye.